Welcome back guys, it is Aprilia here and today we're going to be looking into this new AI image model known as Nano Banana, which is the code name and actually a lot of people believe it's Google behind it and it's actually in reality Gemini 3.0 and it has the ability to edit images but also generate them and we're going to be looking into some of the results by the community and then I will be showing what I was able to do. So here is like the base image and they were basically using the editing to change the tone and the lighting of the image and that is pretty impressive in my opinion and there's a lot of other better examples of this here we have a shopping cart it's been altered out to have one bag more there um, there's some other product things over here so this one combined with this I mean very very impressive stuff here's two people of photos and now they're taking a selfie together it's really really good it also has the ability to color out things I've been seeing a lot of this one also is very impressive like in terms of like a product showcase this one is a bit tilted out here the the can but otherwise it's pretty good and here's another one which was really impressive in quality in my opinion so there's a lot of things that it can basically do right now and nano banana is very very good now basically where you can use it right now is LM arena and there was another website that I was able to find out but I was not able to generate anything there because the Cloudflare client was not working. So maybe a scam website, not sure. But here um, you have to go into new chat, choose battle, and then you have to choose generate images. Now there's a catch here. Because this is LM Arena, which means that this is a website created specifically for ranking images and finding out what is the best image generator out there in the space, well, you know, it's not going to be able to give you prompts every single time, which are going to be using the Nano Banana model. So we're going to be showing you some of the results. So it's always going to be showing you two images. And I would argue that every fourth image is going to be uh, one with Nano Banana on it. So approximately 20% of the prompts to 25% of the prompts is going to be giving you a Nano Banana option. So I'm going to be showing you some of the results that I was able to do. So here is uh, something I prompted out with Midjourney. I wanted to turn the gold into silver. This is the Nano Banana version. There's a Flux Connect. The Flux one was a bit better, but basically almost the same result. It's just the drop drops are much more better in the Flux. This one I also really liked. I wanted to turn this one to gold. This one Gwen did, which we reviewed actually just a few days ago. And here's the Nano Banana result. This is really, really good. This is stylistically so much more similar to the original. These are almost the same style. He was able to keep it, while as Gwen had to alter the whole image. And this is totally different. Um, it doesn't have that 80s uh, crisp, um, you know, whatever, the VHS <laughs> blurriness, whatever you want to call it, you know, it's not there. Um, then I tried to do a couple of other things here, which are not actually on... Um, the thing we wanted to do. So here, for example, I did have this uh, image of a League of Legends character. Um, the Nano Banana basically did not alter at all. This is basically the same image over here. And I said, turn it into photorealistic image. And that seems to be one of the weaknesses based on my testing so far. The Nano Banana is not really good at doing um, realism. So here's another one, a character illustration. Here's the Nano Banana version, did nothing. And Flux basically turned it into real life shot which I basically asked for so there are a couple of different things where it's not able to really follow um, let's see we're gonna go a bit more along here here's, here's another one turn this into a painting also almost no alterations here there was there, you kind of fixed this one area over here so it was able to follow but this one maybe looks like more like a plain painting over here especially with the worlds that you can see but this one not not so much it looks more like a digital illustration uh, but here, we I turned a text prompt and like add my name on the side and it well, fucked up the face totally. Here, it just added the font and it actually used the color scheme from the rest of the image. This is really, really good. Like this is really good quality in my opinion. So text, it was able to do. Here's another one. So I tried to do, hey, do this image into a summer thing. And voila, like this is almost better than the original image. I mean, in some ways it is. So it was really able to follow the details really well. And that's what I kind of like about this language model is that in other ones, you kind of have to get very specific things. Like this Gemini one is not looking pretty at all. So I think this is more faithful into the colors. Obviously this whole 
retro synth wave aesthetic is always going to be night based so it's really hard to do it on on bright colors but it meant it wasn't able to do that um here we have a photo i said change it to apple make the water pink this one actually flux did a pretty good job but it changed everything into pink here it only changed the water to pink and it changed it into an apple which has been eaten already that's the, and this as you can see the watermelon has been eaten here the apple has not been eaten so this is really really good like this is really really fine detail here's another one um i said change the eyes into endless void pits this is what um, gwen gave it changed the lips to right but here it really did what i asked it to do and it's just really really good and i think right now i'm like just like the quality is really really good um then going a bit forward because we had not this is also another this this is something we used in a thumbnail so i said change the feathers into rainbow colors and change the branch or the bark i don't know what it's called uh, into a snake and flux did a pretty good job it changed uh, i don't know what it did to the tree it gave too much colors maybe here and here is the uh, nano banana version i mean this is snake skin this is snake skin and wow it's just really good because it was able to follow because i didn't say turn the whole bird um i said the feathers so that was really really good this is one of the most impressive things i've seen here's an interesting one um change this is another thumbnail we used i said change the bo girl into a boy um it changed the face only that was the only thing that was able to follow. Gwen actually did change it into a boy, but the boobs are still there. The rest of the body is the same. And the head is a bit bigger. Here, at least proportion-wise, it does look better, but the hair is still, like, pretty long for a boy. So, yeah, be both of them were not doing exactly what I wanted them to do, but still, nonetheless, um, pretty good. Then I want to kind of look into a bit of these coloring things. A lot of people have been sharing, hey, turn comic panel into colors and here is the version of Gwen which I liked more it actually fixed the face of this guy I just just noticed that this face is actually totally wrong so this is why I mean the colors here are actually more realistic but I like the more vibrant brown colors over here but this is more realism but it kind of fucked up on the neck I don't know why but it also kept out that distortion over here and some other white parts. Like that was not maybe the earlier image, the reference image was not the best, on hindsight. But I mean the Nano Bena version is really good as well. Here's another one, a uh, bit better reference image. Once again, I chose this one. I think I like this one, but this weird coloring over here on the neck, or which is supposed to be the shirt, is totally fucked. The colors are not as exciting, but once again, this looks a lot more like a Korean, Asian manga panel, or it could be from a Dark Horse comics. So, a very good job from Nano Banana once again. And then the last one, I one of the, you know, here here we have girl. I said turn the background into summer and turn her hair into magenta, and it is now summer and it's the hair is magenta. the The background is maybe not as photorealistic as the rest of the image. This is not exactly. A photorealistic image in the first place um, it's a bit of a, like a mix between illustration and photorealistic shot so pretty good then let's look into some of the stuff that you're able to prompt out without reference images what is it able to do um, without that stuff and apparently when i don't give a reference image it's less likely to offer me actual uh, another banana so here we have a chess match between two mountains where ponds are river flowing across the board I really like this one. The river is looking a bit weird, but I kind of like this one aesthetically. But this one is banana banana. It's not too bad actually. It does everything well, but it looks like a GPT Jet GPT style image. The coloring and stuff like that just feels a lot more reminiscent to that. So I was surprised that this was a nano banana image. Then we're gonna be scrolling a train station where the trains are giant insects, and the tickets are memories torn from people's minds. Okay, the kind of I mean, yeah, the tickets are here. It's pretty precise, okay? The, the prompt is dumb. I did this, beat, by the way, to chat TPT. But the train here, once again, pretty good. Um, it's not consistently um, exactly an insect train, but that's whatever. Much better than this one. This is not like... There were some ideas here, but um, I don't like the colors. But this is pretty good, and there's also some text over here. It's not Journey of the, to of the Lost... M. Notch Rail Lines, technically, you know, I don't know what the first 
live supposed to be here, but pretty good. And then let's scroll down. Let's see. And as you can see, there's like very few of these images coming out here. We have another one, a desert where sand dunes are made out of clocks. Each grain ticks softly as the wind blows. And once again, I mean, this one turned out to be a better one. I'm not super happy with this one. And then we have another one, a storm where raindrops are falling in reverse. And it looks kind of weird, but it's, it's, it's still better than this one, but not perfect. I mean, it's kind of hard prompt in the first place. And then let's go darn down. And as you can see, like a lot less, you know, if you don't give an image reference, it's less, li less likely to actually use Nano Banana. So Ocean made out of forgotten books. This is the ideogram version, which I kind of like more, but this one also is not too bad either. I mean, maybe this is actually in hindsight better, but somehow this does not look as realistic. Like, you know, this, this one kind of, it blends in better. That's what I'm trying to say here, I guess. And did we have still a one left here, which I didn't show. So kind of wrapping things up over here. One of the things that I clearly see that this is much more better at illustrations. Every time it's trying to do photorealistic stuff, it's not that good. It's not that good or it's not trying to do photorealism. And so, yeah, this is once again, pretty good quality. This also looks like more like uh, GBD 4.0, uh, GBD model. So Sora, that's what I meant to say. Um, this one I also liked very much. I thought this was actually Nano Banana, but it wasn't. And here we have a soldier mirror for a shield. So this one is better. I, I think a lot of ways it's not a perfect one, but this again, it's tried to do some type of weird illustration and I was like, Hey, maybe do like realistic thing. This is the worst image that I saw from Nano Banana. And did we have one left here somewhere that we didn't show yet? Yeah. This is the last one. Fashion style photo showed dancer wearing a gown. Blah, 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 the other version. And here it's actually made out of fire. So it's not as good as doing realistic footage. I think that's really the takeaway here. And I don't know when they're going to be releasing Gemini 3.0 and there's probably going to be a proper platform where you can interact with it. Right now, LM Arena is the only place to basically have it. And the best way to really interact is just uploading an image and try to edit from there because right now the other one just flat prompt is going to be giving you less likely chances that nano banana will actually prompt out uh, you will get a nano banana option but thanks for watching guys check out my other reviews that i have done in this last couple of days and i will be seeing you in the next ai review cheers